Let's see what I mean. What is going on everyone? It is Andrew of Beat It AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool plugin in order to do some fire melodies. It's essentially an AI plugin where it auto generates melodies. You just need to have the key and then a VST or sound in which you want the melody to be output into. So I'm actually going to use the plugin is called a uh, melody sauce. It's only $40. I'll put the link to where you can get it down in the below. But in here, we're going to go to our uh, VST wrapper settings and go to our output as two. So I'm going to actually change it to a C minor, E flat major. Now I'm going to input Omnisphere. Now in Omnisphere, I'm going to just look for a random uh, sound. I'm going to go in the bells and vibes. Just do a shuffle around a little bit. It's a little bit funky. There's a certain ways you'll need to do uh, certain things you need to do in order for it to work accordingly. So I'm going to pull up some drum samples real quick. I'm going to use some of Hitplay's uh, samples actually. All of Hitplay's uh, drum kits will be in the link down below. So I'm going to go to like 160 BPM. Let's go ahead and actually get into this um, melody sauce actually. So over here we got dark, light, and both. Simple complex and both. So I'm just going to click some different melodies. I'll put There we go. Ah, there we go. Got got to press play. So I mean if we put an 808 in there
You see how we could get a melody going, which would help us getting the beat started, or maybe if you already had some chords and you just need some top melodies, this is a great plugin. I mean, and I can flip through different melodies as well. And then um, the one thing I did notice, so if I do this, You can see it continues even when it doesn't have the pattern so how do you do um how do you uh, get rid of that the one trick that i found because um one technique is uh, fl studio does not to my knowledge have a midi pasting so essentially uh what it's doing right here is actually playing some midi files or, or something of sorts and um in Ableton, you can have it record the MIDI, but in FL Studio, in FL Studio you can't. Uh, it kind of sucks because then we can't alter the notes to how we'd like it. Um, but alternatively, to turn it off, we could just pull in a gross beat and go down to the right and do mute. You can also just automate the, the level of this, but I just think it's easier just to do a toggle with the gross beat. So. So maybe we, I'll sh let's try it like something like this. So clearly since the gross beats turned off and if it was turned on, it would be a mute right there, mute. So since it's turned off in the beginning, we hear that melody. And since the uh, gross beat gets turned on, it gets uh, disabled up there. So, uh, and if I were to have the pattern. See, because the gross beat just means it. So it's that simple um, in case if you uh, do get this plugin and you're wondering, like, how do I turn off that melody? Just uh, have that sample in the mixer and then disable it from there. And if you guys want to use another melody, gonna have to create another instant of the uh, melody sauce vst and route it to another uh, uh vst of your sound it's super easy i do like it uh we could go through and try out different ones you could change uh if it goes up an active or down an active if it's fast or if it's slow uh you could change the harmonization It'd be a great way to make uh, samples because then I could actually just bounce this out and then I'll have a wave version of it. So this is a uh, VST called Melody Sauce. I really like it. I just found it. Uh, I think I watched a YouTube video of someone covering it or, um, or something of that sort. And I went out and immediately looked up the where like the website, seeing how much it costs and I bought it instantly because I have a lot of different uh, melody and chord uh, generating uh, VSTs. My goal is to kind of have all of them because there's all these tools available so you might as well use them in order to make beats and seeing if you can make better beats than what you did prior. And I've already implemented this uh, VST in some of my beats and I love it. So if you guys also want to get some free drum kits and samples be sure to go to b2at.com go to our downloads page and we'll have a link over there or our products and downloads page and over there we'll have a another link where you guys can click it and go to our free members page all, you guys just have to be a member which is free and then you guys can download all the free kits we also have other professional sounding kits in the uh, product page so if you want to upgrade your sound it's uh, probably a wise choice to be a member over at beatat.com because we send out emails to you guys on coupons as well as specials, tips, and tricks. So yeah, this is Andrew of BDAT Production and Publishing, and I will see you guys later.